Okay, so the next type of field that we're going to talk about is checkboxes. So there are two different ways to use a checkbox. You can use a checkbox as just one singular box where if a person checks it, they indicate yes, and if it's unchecked, it means no. So because I'm just asking this question where they have to acknowledge that they can change their permission, then I just have this one checkbox. So if they check it, then they say they're acknowledging it. So how I created this was just a basic square with a stroke and a fill. And if I come over here to buttons and forms, um, I'm going to change this to a checkbox. And then I have to give it a unique name because again, something generic is going to be hard for me to read later or in other instances, like when we create a tab order, which we'll get to in another video. So for this one, I'm going to put um, permission change acknowledgement. Um, and then it's showing you what the normal on state would be, which would show a check mark, and the normal off state would be an empty box. So this looks good. You don't have to worry about any of the other options, and then you can choose whether or not it's required. Since this question, even if they don't want their kid to go to any field trips, um, I would want this to be acknowledged so they know that later they can give permission if they wanted to, then I'm going to make this required. Um, so it doesn't need to be read only and usually it's annoying to choose selected by default because then there's a chance they didn't actually read it and they just let it be checked. So that's why you don't want to choose select, um, selected by default. So what does it mean when the button is clicked? Does it mean it's yes? Does it mean it's no? Does it mean it's I agree? Whatever. So you can choose what words you want um, to indicate the checked box. So yes, I acknowledge. Okay. So that works for me. I could have just put yes, but you know, you could put whatever you want. And then the other type of check box <clears throat> is when you have like a series of check boxes and they can choose one or more options. So in this instance, I want them to be able to choose how many different uh, field trips they want their kid to go on, or maybe all of them. So all of these are going to have the same kind of setup. So I'll do the first one, and we're going to change this to also be a checkbox, and basically the same thing. So I'm going to say, yes, uh, let's see, Denver Zoo, let's just do Denver Zoo, and then the nope we don't want to do required because then that would require them to go to the Denver Zoo let me try to get some more space happening here well okay we'll just leave it so then the button value is yes but each time they click these it's gonna say yes and then if if again you export this data which you don't have to you could just look at the form but if I wanted to export this data for my class so that I have a whole spreadsheet that tells me which field trips each kid can go on, then I'm going to need to make sure that the answers aren't all a generic yes. So I'm going to say yes, comma, Denver Zoo. And then this one, again, I'm going to come up here and do checkbox and try to keep it consistent. So this is just the name. So I'll put um, Natural History Museum and then yes, comma, natural history museum and just keep going so on and so forth. So let me go ahead and open up the finished one and <clears throat> I put in here, you can see here, permission for Denver Zoo. So when I did this earlier, I changed it a little bit and then <clears throat> the button value, I put yes. So see, I should have put yes, Denver Zoo. And then also the description is the, when they hover over, it's the tool tip that tells them what they're indicating when they click this. So if they hover over this one, it's gonna say a check equals yes, my child can attend the Denver Zoo. So that is a good indicator or a good way to help them without having to have them call you or email you with questions. So the thing you need to know with check boxes is that it can be just a yes or no for one question or an acknowledgement it can also be multiple selection, but it's different than the bullets, which we'll get to in the next tutorial video. And the bullets are when you choose one or the other. You can't choose both or multiple. You have to choose only one. So just know that you can't do that with the checkboxes. You can't force them to choose only one.